Katia V5, this will be regarding split tool. So I received the following comment from Mustafa. Could you make a tutorial for trim command in generative shape design? Sometimes using it can be hard and I'm having a hard time using it. So before I'm gonna address trim, I wanna discuss initially split because in Katia, in generative shape design, in wireframe and with thin imaginary shape, we're gonna have the split tool, which will be this one. So we're gonna have that saw and a surface and we're also gonna have the trim. So you see how those two look quite the same. They both have a saw and um, they represent that they will cut a surface. So let's get started with split. For the split, we have over here multiple surfaces created. So for the element to cut, in this case, I will use these surfaces over here and I want to cut this element and the cutting element, if I will select the top one, we're going to see how this will become transparent. So now if I will hit preview and if I will also hit OK, that will be cut over there. So I can re-enable that split. I can go for the other side and you're going to see how visually those over here will now be the one that will be cut. So if I will click OK, we're going to see that now only the top surface will remain over here. For the cutting element, I can add multiple. So currently I have this surface over here. I can add this as well. I can hit preview. I can hit OK. And we're going to see the same cut will remain over here. But I have the possibility to go and swap the other side. And we're going to see that now the other side will maintain this surface over here. So there are a wide variety of possibilities that we can change over here using the other side. And we can also add additional elements. We can also go over here to show parameters and we can specify which element we want to keep and which element we want to we want to have removed. So for example, over here, I can go element to keep. I can select that. And in this case, this will have an update error. But we're going to see how we can make use of this element to keep. So for now, I'm just going to have that removed. I will also delete the split over here. And the same functionality will go over here on the other side. It's important that those two surfaces that will be splitted must be intersected. So for example, this one and the element, the cutting element in this case will be this one. We're going to see an orange line op appearing over there. We can also do this intersection computational mm -hmm. and that will give us two dots over here. So we see the vertex over there and the vertex over here. They are not that visible. As we can see, only a small dot will appear over there, but we're going to see the intersection line over here. Again, if I will go with the other side or I can add an additional element, we're going to see that computation now visible within the wireframe, as we can see over here. And we can swap the other side for, uh, for each element. So in this case, we only had the middle over here. If I will select the other side for the top one, we're going to have the following cut. And the other side for the, for the last one, I can also add an additional cutting element. So the last one over here. And let's see, with the other side, we're going to have the middle element over here. If I will click OK, we're going to have the same cut over here. Now, we can also use split not only for surface and surface like we had over here. We can use it for a sketch. For example, we have over here the following sketch. If I will enter that sketch, you're going to see this will just be um, an arc. We can re reshape that. Over here, we're going to have a line. This will be a sketch. So again, I can reshape this. And if I will start the split definition, and let's see, the element to cut in this case will be the extruded surface over here. And the cutting element can be a sketch. For example, we're going to have sketch three over here. And we're going to see that now if I will click OK, that will be removed. 
And just like previously, if I will go within that split and I will choose to see the other side and keep the other side, we're going to have the following surface. Now, keep in mind that as you can see over here, this will have a different color. And always within Katia by default, the surface elements will be yellow. And over here we have a little bit of overlap. That's why we are seeing this, um, this effect over here. Because we also have that surface over here visible, which has this uh, reddish color. And Katia will draw this newly defined surface over here. So within the preview, those will be perfectly overlapped. We can also select multiple cutting elements. If I will go now with the other side and I will click OK, we're going to see that nothing will happen in this case. But if I will go over here again and I will swap the other side over here, we're going to see that now we are just going to have this cut over here. We can also add all of those, for example, like this. And if we're going to swap this with the other side, so let's see. I currently have the one on the bottom, so element to cut will be the one in the middle. If I will hit preview, this will be the, the one over here. Now, if I will just have all of those removed and I will redo the, the trim over here. In this case, split. So this is not uh, trimming, this is splitting. Element to cut and the cutting elements, I will select all of those. And as you can see, now the output will be different. So in this case, we're going to have the following output. So keep in mind that the order of selection, it's really important over here within uh, the split tool. So even though it looks quite simple, we see the functionality over here, we see that um, we can get various results over here using the other side, which are or depending on the selection. Okay, so we saw over here how we can split surfaces. Over here we had the surface and sketches. And um, over here we're going to have a surface and a plane. So if I will just hide this, this will be just a simple um, surface over here. So if I will go split, element to cut will be the, the surface over here. And the cutting element can also be a plane in this case. And we're going to see that this will be the output. Again, if you're going to go with the other side, we're only going to have those small um, surfaces over here. And since the, these are not connected, we see that uh, they are not joined together. We're going to have the following result over here. So we have the multi-result management. And over here, we can define what elements we want to keep. So we can use using the near far selection or we can use extract and we're going to have to extract those or we can keep all of those so in this case for this split even though they are not connected they will all remain over here so i will just delete that and uh, let's see some other options over here available within the split element to cut will be the same plane the cutting element uh, sorry the same surface the cutting element the plane and if you're going to go over here to show parameters we're going to have the following section over here. So element to keep, element to remove. In this case, since we have all of those four elements will be trimmed out, I can go over here, element to keep, and I can select this, for example. And we're going to see that this will now remain selected over here. I can also select that as well, and that as well. If I will hit now hit OK, we're going to have those three selected, and we can keep all of those sub-elements. So keep that in mind that um, there is an added utility of the split tool. If you're going to go over here for show more parameters, you're going to have the element to remove and element to keep. Now, the last type of splitting that can be done will be for two sketches. For example, we have this sketch over here, which will just be um, a circle. And over here we have multiple lines. If I'm going to enter that, we're going to see that we're going to have um, multiple lines. So we can generate this easily by doing a pattern in a sketch using a line. And uh, if you're going to go over here to the split tool, we have the possibility to split 
sketches over here. So the element to cut in this case will be the circle, and the cutting element can be the, um, the other sketch. And uh, we're going to have the following uh, result over here. So we're going to have a warning that close wire position is ambiguous. If you're going to click pre preview, we're going to see that in this case, we're only going to have those orange elements kept over here. So if I will click OK, from that initial circle, we're going to have all of those elements. So we have those smaller arcs. Again, we can keep all elements, and uh, this will be the result, the resulting split. If I will go over here and just go the other side, we're gonna receive the um, the other side of um, of that circle. So as we can see, we're gonna have that split like that. So keep that in mind that you can also split those. And uh, now I also want to discuss um, extrapolation when splitting. So if I'm going to go over here and I will do another split. Element to cut. I want to cut the orange element and the cutting element will be the white one. Again, we're going to see that um, this will be the result. So if I will just click OK, this will be the result of that, that trim. So we don't have any extrapolation in this case. If I'm going to go for split 2 and I will go for the other side, we're going to receive the bottom section of this surface. And if I will just delete that split, and now I'm going to reverse, so the element to cut will be the white one, and the cutting element will be the orange one. Now we're going to see that extrapolation tangency over here. So this will go all the way over there. So if I will hit OK, this will be the result. And now, uh, if I will want to do the other side, the other side will be trimmed like this. Also, keep in mind that um, we can work with uh, splitting with, also with subdivision surface. So this is from imaginary shape. That means I can drag it along like this. And um, if you want to do a split, again, we can go for the splitting element to cut. I want to cut the white surface, the cutting element will be the imaginary shape subdivision cylinder. If I will hit OK, we're now going to see that that inner section has been split over here. If we also want to keep that, we have the possibility to keep both sides and the split will be over here. So this will be the inner side, which will be split 5. I can al always uh, hide that. Or if I want to hide the rest of the surface that will be split for and we're just gonna have that inner section um, and again we can hide the subdivision so keep that in mind that you can also keep both sides when you are gonna do a split and uh, one of those splits will become a child for the other one now the main advantage within imaginary shape is that we can easily go over here within imaginary shape Let's say that I want to add a primitive over here. Maybe I want to add a pyramid. This will be the pyramid. I can select it. I can rotate it. But this should be fine for the case study. And um, with the imagine a shape, we're going to have the same tools. So this will be the split and this will be the trim. The functionality will be the same because it's actually the same uh, feature, it's just available between both workbenches. So the element to cut, I want to cut the surface over here and the cutting element will be the subdivision, the pyramid. If I will hit preview, this will be the result. If I will hit OK. And now if I will hide that pyramid, we're going to see how that has been cut over there. And again, we can go with both sides and that will also leave us this surface. So we just have, um, let's say, an outline over here. This will still act as a full surface, but we can further make use of this boundary. So um, this is really useful in various situations. OK, so I hope you enjoy this kind of content. My next video will be regarding trim. So I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right.
So, that's it. Thanks for watching.